Get it, bro. Sekarang kami berada di where we are? Ellerslie, uh, Ellerslie Press Coast, uh, uh, tempat pacuan kuda di Auckland. Jadi kami dikasih izin kalau mau keluar olahraga cuma 45 menit untuk untuk mutar ini, mutarin pacuan kuda, pacuan kuda keren banget tempatnya, guys dan sangat bersih dan sekarang masih dalam karantina jadi semua terlihat bersih sekali Shout out to my parents for making me. Shout out to H for turn it off H. But um, what am I supposed to say? So we're here in quarantine, chilling out, having fun in the sun. The sun is awesome. There's people around, all two meters apart, and we're at the Novotel Ellerslie. See, but. Um, what am I talking about? My dance. So I started dancing about 20 years ago, a long time. And now I am kind of old, but still jamming. And I started in Wellington with the being a part of different crews. One crew called Touch, one crew called Oh Unity, another crew called Big for the boys, another crew called Triple Eight Funk. Been to World Hip Hop Champs a few times. Uh, now I represent a crew called Project Team, Project Team, and we're from all around New Zealand and different parts of the world, including Japan and the UK and Australia. Um, but yeah, been doing it for a little bit now. New Zealand scene is pretty like up and down. It's like goes through phases. There's lots of uh, crumping here at the moment that everyone's getting into. Lots of people getting into light feet now. Lots of just choreo dances at the top. Uh, in my time that I've been here, there's been just lots of different waves. So sometimes breaking will get really popular. 
and then it'll go down and then this is that style get rid of that and it'll go down. Um But yeah. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at talking without someone How was Vanuatu? What oh, were you doing in Vanuatu? Oh, yeah. So when I was in Vanuatu, I was a volunteer at a youth organization called One Small Bag and I was teaching kids street dance, hip hop dance as a way to keep them off the street, giving them something to do, keep them out of trouble and there, there's a lot of different crews that come out of that um, youth center and they have a lot of different... Shut them out. <laughs> oh bro, I can't even like... Who are, who are the crews? Uh, Elite Squad, my own crew. But not two Steve's. And there's Respect, there's a couple of Respect crews. There's heaps. Uh, but we try and help them to stay off the street. Because there's a lot of kids that don't go to school. And uh, there's no law in Vanuatu to uh, go to school compulsory. Like it's not compulsory to go to school. So the kids can do anything they want. So we try and get all the kids that don't go to school in the village or in the street doing nothing. We try to get them to come to the youth centre so they have something to do. So yeah, it's a really good like we set up a really good environment for kids to come, be free, learn something, and they're quite different. Like a lot of kids that go to school are very. They pay attention, they're very like they listen well, but some of these kids are not that way inclined. So it's good for them to have an outlet that they can come and feel like uh, they can learn something and not be judged. And I think that's like the main thing. How long so, have you been in Vanuatu? Uh, I was there for two years and then took a break for a few months, went back and then got caught up in the quarantine, uh, the coronavirus. And then now we got sent back here. So we're not sure we will be able to go back maybe next year. Uh, but yeah, hopefully one day we'll go back and see the kids keep up with them. Okay, thank you so much, Josh. Thanks, y'all. See you. Yo, hello. Chris Tokwingwa, no Tamaki Makoto Aho, uh, Nati Pakia Aho. Um, yes, I'm coming straight out of Vanuatu. Just arrived about two weeks ago, um, and now we're in quarantine in the Novotel Motel in Ellerslie. And I've met this lovely man Ricky, and he's chucked a camera in front of my face. So here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we were having a bit of a chat yesterday about Vanuatu. I was there um, working in water supply, volunteering through the New Zealand government, working in Santo Island um, for two years, almost two years. We got called home because of uh, the COVID crisis, global pandemic, I'm sure you've heard all about it. Um, but yeah, we were having a bit of a chat about uh, where, where Ricky's from too, Papua. We started talking a little bit about West Papua and how uh, Vanuatu is standing in uh, solidarity with um, the West Papuans' struggle for self-determination and freedom. And uh, there's nothing like a freedom fight uh, without a bit of good music. And I'd also seen a newspaper article about the Black Brothers um, in the Vanuatu Daily Post one day. Um, and it was talking a bit about how the Black Brothers uh, self-exiled to Vanuatu in 1979 
and they were a big part and supporter and kind of drumming up the, the um, support for the independence movement in Vanuatu, um, which was a really interesting uh, kind of dynamic to see coming through music again uh, because there's quite a, a dialogue in New Zealand around the West Papuan struggle. Some local musicians that are now making music about um, the same story, you know, how many years is it? 40 years on and people are still making making music about the same thing. Out to Troy Kingy, uh, he's got a beautiful album out that touches on a lot of the colonial um, struggles that are happening around the Pacific at the moment and one particular song on his uh, latest album is called Birds of Paradise so uh, if you like good music go check out Troy Kingy um, and that song Birds of Paradise and the other one that I came across of, of the, the Black Brothers was Saman Doye which is an absolute killer of a song so um, yeah music is, is the tool of justice in many ways as well so if you're feeling down and out make sure you get some good music on and it'll get you back fighting <laughs> Actually, don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> what else? <laughs> so, how long you into music? Like mm. music life? For okay. how long you know? Into music? Okay. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> my introduction to really first starting to have a love of music, which then moved into DJing. Um, I kind of remember trying to barge in onto my brother's parties. He's five years older than me, so he was kind of always listening to stuff that was a bit older, like hip hop. I remember like MOP, um, Simon Says, all those really kind of high energy rap songs coming through from his room when I was younger, and I was always trying to go along to his friend's DJ parties and join in, but um, they would never let me until I remember I got to a certain age and then <laughs> I was finally allowed to join them and that's oh. when I started kind of doing our own parties with our friends and collecting records as well. Okay. Um, so yeah, when we were younger, just kind of DJing at friends' parties, making our own parties, then there was the 21st scene. Yeah, yeah. Um, Lots of reggae, hip hop, and then and then kind of the the UK electronic phenomenon. Um, dubstep came along, which wow. we kind of got quite heavily into, and played a few few gigs around New Zealand. That was quite a cool time around 2007, 2008. There was a group called the Dubstep Alliance, dubstep. and they would put a Wednesday night on every um, week on K Road, where people would go along and dance to three or four in the morning to some really loud bass music which is a really cool release. Sweet. Perfect. Yeah, and kind of so, moved on from there. Yeah. You have uh, your link something for your music or your... Uh, yeah, so yeah. Uh, if you go to Mixed Cloud, Grassmouth is my name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a few radio shows. I've also been involved with Face FM, which is a local community radio station in Auckland. Oh, okay. Um, who, you know, are really supportive of up and coming artists and, and play a lot of underground kind of music and stuff that you wouldn't hear on, on normal radio, uh, Bass FM. So yeah, me and a friend have been DJing on that for a few years and so come and go and that's a really cool community of good music in Auckland and now some are as well, they've extended it out to the Pacific. They also have Island Bass FM, which is um, a Pacific partner radio out in Samoa. Oh. Cool. Thank you so much, Chris, for today. Thank you for interview. Thank you for knowledge. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Good. Welcome to New Zealand. Thank you. We're gonna have a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Ta 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 